Let's look at finding the slope when the points we're given have coordinates that are decimals. We know that slope, we usually represent that with M, is rise over run, how much the line rises for how much it runs. So that will be the difference in the Y's, that's my rise, and the, divided by the difference in the X's, that's the run. So in this case, let's just use the points in the order given. So Y2 will be the 12.7 minus Y1, the 17.2, divided by X2, negative 5.3, minus negative 6.1. All right, so now that's going to equal, let's do some of our decimal arithmetic. So in the numerator, I have 12.7 minus 17.2. So I need to find their difference. So I'll take 17.2, subtract 12.7. I have to borrow from the 7. So 7 from 12 is 5. 2 from 6 is 4. So I get 4.5, but I give it the sign of the larger absolute value, so it's negative, divided by, all right, negative 5.3 minus negative 16. We can then change that from minus negative to plus positive, adding the opposite. So we have, again, a negative and a positive, so we will find their difference. So 6.1 minus 5.3. 3 from 1 won't go. Borrow from a 6, that leaves a 5. 3 from 11 is 8, and I put my decimal. All right, and the sign of the larger in this case is positive, so my denominator is positive. Okay, now from here, we could go a couple of different ways, all right? One method is to, let me see if I can kind of highlight what I'm doing. One method is to multiply the numerator and the denominator by 10. So I'd have negative 4.5 over 0.8 times 10 over 10. So I'm not changing its value because I'm basically multiplying by 1. So that will give me negative 45 eighths. Now that is the simplest way to do it. But you may not have thought of that way. So let's look at a second method. A second method involves changing my um, decimals to fractions. So I will have negative 4 and 5 tenths divided by 8 tenths. So that will be negative, changing that to an improper fraction. 10 times 4 is 40, plus 5 is 45, so negative 45 tenths. And to divide fractions, you multiply by the reciprocal, so times 10 eighths. And then I can cancel the tens, and I get the same answer that I got before, that it is a negative 45 eighths. So yes, you can multiply by 10, it's a little bit shorter that way, um, but you wouldn't have to know that trick in order to solve the problem.